Hello everyone, I'm Sandra and I am an illustrator that creates clip art. So in this uh, video, I'm gonna teach you or show you what clip art is and what you can use clip art for. And if you find this channel helpful and, and you like it, of course, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and remember to hit the bell uh, icon as well so you never miss any of my upcoming uh, videos and tutorials. If you want to learn more about clip art and uh, maybe how to use clip art in Canva, uh, please feel free to join our Facebook group. I'd love to see you there. You find a link in the description. Now let's get started. To start out, uh, we go to my clip art shop so I can show you what clip art is. And this is whimsydreamsclipart.com. As you see here, clip art is a digital graphics that you can use in your designs, uh, such as card making, scrapbooking, uh, creating different kinds of digital products as stickers for journals. And you can also use them for sublimation designs, which is when you print your design on some kind of object as a t-shirt or something like that. You can also use a clip art in graphic design and you can create quote art and stuff like that. Digital graphic is, you can say, some kind of digital sticker that you can put on your uh, creations to enhance it and, you know, decorate it with. And as you see here, there are different kinds of uh, clip art. There are also other shops, of course, than mine, uh, huge mar marketplaces and such where you can find packs as well. Um, it's important that you find a clip art creator that creates uh, graphics in your style, <laughs> of course, and that fits your products and or branding. When you buy a clip art pack, you download a, pic a clip art pack and often it's a zipped folder. So you need to have a program that unzips the folder so you can extract the files within. And when you extract your files, you find uh, a folder like this. And inside you find folders with different kinds of file formats. JPEG is uh, commonly used in Word and, and such, as it has a white web background. And um, PNGs are often used in graphic design and, you know, when you layer pictures on top of each other and they have a transparent background. And when you open your folder, you see all the graphics uh, or clip art that is included in the pack. And you can just click on them and import them in whichever design or whichever program that can handle these, these kinds of file types. PNGs and JPEGs uh, can often be used in most uh, editing software. Uh, there are also other kinds of clip art, vector clip arts, and those can only be used in vector based programs as Illustrator and such. Uh, so this is how it looks when you're downloading your files, you know, this is PNGs. And sometimes uh, they show it with this black background here. And it's something with preview settings that creates this problem. The background is transparent, even though it's black here. And the same goes here. And I'm going to show you how you use and upload uh, your clip art graphics uh, into Canva, where you can create social media posts, uh, wall art, you know, everything <laughs> you can imagine. When you come to Canva, it's canva.com. And I'm an affiliate, just so you know. And you find a link down below in the description if you want to try Canva. You go to upload an image in uploads here. Now I'm going to upload. This is a PNG and you see the background is transparent. Now I'm going to upload a JPEG. And you notice the JPEG has a white background and it's hard to layer those. Just adding a background here so you can see what is happening here. I'm adding frame for this and just drag it into it. You see that the background is transparent. 
if I drag this white uh, JPEG into it, you see it's a white background. So this is the difference between the two file types. It's so fun creating with Clipart and it's so easy. And you can create your own professional looking designs with ease. You need a Clipart frame and some fancy text and you have a fantastic design ready to go. I'm adding a text here so you can see. Just changing the color to brown. Like this, it's super fun. Never be afraid of clip art. And I upload new tutorials all the time how to use clip art in uh, Canva. Just tag along and you will be a pro in no time, I promise you. And remember to join the Facebook group as well where I share some extra tips and tricks and we support each other in our journey to master Canva. So I hope to see you there. If you want to learn more about Canva and how to use a clip art for printables, I have an, a class that is open for enrollment. So just check out the class in the description as well. Until the next time, have a magic day. Bye bye.